We've uh, had some work done, can you tell? Pillow Talk! Hey guys, welcome oh back to Pillow Talk Monday. I think this is like the longest break we've ever taken. And if we look a little <laughs> pale, it's because we're very vitamin D deficient. So what have you guys been doing in your quarantine? Because we are still quarantined. Or it's self-isolating. Self-isolating. still self-isolating. Everyone's calling it quarantining, but as soon as you leave your house, you are no longer quarantined. Right. When you go to the store to get double chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> you've broken you've, quarantine. You broke your quarantine. What have we been up to? Watching lots shows and movies mm -hmm. <laughs> anytime we talk about like our favorite lgbt movies it's the same almost ones. adults imagine me and you that's all i can think of right now <laughs> so we are going to share with you our favorite um lgbt movies that we've been watching during our self-isolation and look okay when you're self-isolating now is the time to watch some like gay guy movies as well so we've We've mixed it in right. here, okay? It's not just lesbian movies. It's LGBTQ, people. We are all in this together. Yeah. This video is brought to you by Surfshark, a VPN to help you watch all the movies in any country. Let's go through right now what are, might be the best LGBT movies on Netflix. We're going through all of them, but okay. let's start with Netflix, okay? All right. Moonlight is the first one that comes to mind. It's probably actually the greatest LGBT movie of all time, if I'm being yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. The actors, Counts of ways, it's beautiful. The music, the shots. Happy ending. The acting. Best picture. Next on Netflix. Next, Paris is Burning, which is a documentary about the drag scene in New York in the- Where it started. It's where drag basically started. In the 80s, does it take place? If you watch RuPaul's Drag Race and you haven't seen Paris is Burning- You're not doing it right. You got to catch up on your drag history. If you listen to Lady Gaga, but you have not watched Paris is Burning. If you've been to the Monster you're Ball, missing but haven't seen a drag ball, you don't know Doing what wrong, you're missing. People. Next is a new movie that just came out, and it's by Alice Wu, who did mm -hmm. Saving Face, which was right. one of, I'm sure we've talked about it before on the oh, channel, because yeah. it's one of our like all-time favorite LGBT movies. Mm -hmm. And it's called The Half of, did I say it's called The Half no, of It? No, you did not. It's called The Half of It. <laughs> It's super sweet, it's heartwarming, it's like being in high school and figuring out Yeah, day. if you want some like high school angst. It's about Ellie who writes people's like essays and gets paid to do it, but then she has to write a love letter from a boy to a girl, but it's the same girl that she has a crush on. That's called the love triangle right there. That's a triangle. <laughs> also, that's a triangle. That is also a triangle. It's a rounded. This is a triangle. <laughs> also, the leads are super cute, so. Back to documentaries, there is a new one that just came out. We just watched it. Cried our eyes out. A Secret Love. I was inconsolable, okay, after watching this movie. It is a documentary about two lesbians who've been together for like 72 years. Six, it was like 65 years when they started filming it. Okay, you know what? It's the greatest love story ever told. Forget Carol. <laughs> Terry and Pat, okay, they're my new OTP. So next we're going to HBO Go, which we don't have, but we have seen this movie. Mm -hmm. And that's Can You Ever Forgive Me? Which maybe you wouldn't think is gay at first trailer viewing. But it's but gay. But it's gay. It's gay. And it's starring Melissa McCarthy playing Lee Israel, who's a lesbian. Mm -hmm. It's like... Uh, it's like a thriller. It's very funny. It's she is like your typical lesbian. She's single. Lots of cats. Cats. Cranky. Cranky. Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of sweaters. Sweater vests. Probably yeah. cuts her own hair. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> She's a lesbian in quarantine. And you know what? It's also a good... It's just a good movie, though. Quarantine movie, because it opens on a scene of her criticizing her agent for wasting toilet paper. Okay, next we're gonna move on to Amazon Prime. Which Almost Adults is on. But we've already talked about that film. And Nobody Famous. And Nobody Famous. Which is also still a little gay. Next film is an indie film and it's called Suicide Kale. What's interesting about Suicide Kale, besides the fact that it's super, super, super funny, yeah. is that the whole thing was improv Which sometimes you, you know, you hear movies, you're like, I don't wanna watch a whole movie where that's been improv right. But um, the actors are so good and the story is very interesting that it's like 
it works. This is a movie that I like heard was kind of gay, but didn't really know anything about it. So I just like played it one day. I freaking loved this movie and mm -hmm. it's Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. It's about a polyamorous relationship. With there's our, there's our bees. The man who invented Wonder Woman, his wife, who's a professor, and the, basically the woman friends. that inspired them to write mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. It's a pretty sexy movie. All right, this is a uh, oldie but still a goodie, The Hours. I think it's your favorite movie. It's one of my favorite gay movies. It's like Nicole Kidman, gay. Meryl <laughs> Streep, gay. Julianne Moore, kind of gay. Gay. <laughs> Bye. Maybe gay <laughs> though. Th at the time, like, can't be gay. But so, but wants to be gay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meryl Streep's daughter, Claire Danes, gay. Although I Ed think Ed Harris, think, gay. Gay. <laughs> Although I think Claire Danes is gay in the book, but I don't know in the movie. If they say if they say she's gay. She, but in the you know book, what? in the book, she has a girlfriend. No, we're saying she's gay. That's she gay. Pretty much everyone. Who else is in that? Um, Allison Janney, gay. Isn't that who Meryl Streep's wife is? Yeah, Got it. Guys. That's a lot of big gay This was like actors. a mainstream movie. It's a book based off of a Virginia Woolf book and that was turned into a movie. Right. But everyone so, is gay Everyone's in gay it, so. Everyone's gay in it. Guys, everyone is gay. So now, if you've cried yourself to sleep one too many nights and yep. you need to pick me up, you're gonna watch on Amazon Prime, The Birdcage. And laugh Which yourself to sleep. Which is a classic. No, Robin Williams and Nathan Lane are lovers. They own a drag club yeah. and their son is getting married to this woman who has a very conservative family. So they need, they're coming over for dinner one night. They basically need everything about their life has to go back in the closet for one night. Yeah. And like hilarity ensues. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're switching gears again. Now we're going to Hulu which is where you can use that VPN service for, because I think Hulu's just in the States. Yep. Gotta get some LGBT genre movies in there. Yeah. Thelma. It's like when she sees someone that she really likes, like things start to happen because her emotions get out of control. Doesn't that happen so to all of us? <laughs> it's a bit thrillerish, but it's not scary, because no. I don't like scary movies. We do have a tea movie, and that's Tangerine is also on Hulu. Tangerine is about a trans prostitute, which is interesting about Tangerine is the whole thing was shot on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. It's very funny. No, that's They're gonna be the future of movies is yeah. shot on an iPhone. Mm -hmm. But it looks really good even though it's shot on an iPhone. Yeah. Last but certainly not least, because everyone has been tweeting and <laughs> messaging us to talk about this movie on Hulu, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It is a three hour, French Odyssey, epic movie. <laughs> yeah. That is probably, literally, the gayest movie I've ever watched in my life. If you want long, longing stares, if you nude, want nude lesbian drawings, <laughs> if you want long talks and walks along the beach if with a cliffside nearby, <laughs> wondering if they will jump. <laughs> If you want pre-COVID mask wearing. If you want lusty but unattainable touching, because this is a time when it is not allowed. If you want scandalous bookmarks. If you want mothers going on holiday at the right moment. <laughs> if you want lesbians fixing straight people problems. Oh yeah! <laughs> and if you want lots of painting. And if you want you. ladies on fire. <laughs> and if you literally want ladies on fire, then Portrait of a Lady on Fire is the movie for you. But for real, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's three hours, but literally the last minute is my favorite part of the whole movie. Yeah. Which is, it's very good. Beautifully shot, directed by a woman who did Water Lilies. A gay woman. A gay woman, which is great. Um, yeah. and cute women. You can't really, you know, can't stress enough about you cute women, okay? Wrong. Like, it's one of the best parts it's of movies. Like, it's cute please. women. <laughs> Those were the best LGBT movies that we think you should be watching right now. I feel like Portrait of a Lady on Fire might be everyone's favorite in that list. 
If you want to watch it, but you don't have Hulu, mm -hmm. try Surfshark, the VPN. We're in Canada, and we can't watch Hulu, but with Surfshark, we have been watching all the Hulus. And you guys get a 30-day money-back guarantee, which is great because you're probably running out of content on the platforms you do have access to. Yeah, I'm going through that pretty quickly. And if you guys use our promo code, the link is in the description. Thank you to Surfshark for giving us more content to watch during our self-isolation because we that's need all we're now, doing. <laughs> more than ever. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment with some of your favorite LGBT movies that you've been watching. Leave some ones that maybe are a little bit more obscure that people haven't seen or heard of. Like and that don't you say love. almost adults. Don't say almost adults. We know you don't love it. Everybody's seen it. Everyone's seen it. Thank you guys for watching Pillow Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye bye.